Agile Manifesto Principles In Agile, there are 12 Agile Manifesto Principles. Let us go through these principles one by one and understand them in detail. Now the first principle says, satisfy customers through early and continuous delivery of the software. Now this is the customer satisfaction is the key in Agile software development. And in order to satisfy customer, it is very important that the software is delivered to him early in the life cycle and continuous uh, delivery of that software in regular iteration so that customer can have a look at the working software and see whether it is fit for use and meets his expectation. Now because in, in Agile software is built incrementally and regular feedback is obtained by the customer during software development and these small iterations of two to four weeks uh, two to four weeks are very helpful to provide the customer with a working software and get an early feedback now the second principle is welcome changing requirements even late in the development cycle now changes are inevitable in today's um, landscape I mean um, internal and external factors competitor analysis or competitor uh, how the competitors are behaving in the market what they are launching uh, there could be you know, like legislation or laws or technological advances there are many factors due to which changes might be required in the project now agile development should welcome any changing requirements even if it is late in the development cycle the third principle says frequent delivery of software now because agile development says that agile uh, that software should be delivered in shorter iterations of two to four week cycle now because of that the frequent delivery of the software after each of these iteration is very important and helpful for the customer to provide early and frequent feedback fourth principle says daily collaboration among business people and development team so daily collaboration is very important with the business team and development team because understanding what exactly customer is looking for and what development team is building uh, everyone should be on the same page and development team should understand should talk to the business people on regular basis to understand what their expectation are and whether whatever they are building is as per their expectation to cater for any last moment surprises another principle says build project around motivated individuals provide support and trust team now in agile development it is the team members of development team who deliver the software and agile team should be built with skilled and motivated team member once the team is formed you should be they should be given decision making power in order to come up with the best possible solution so there shouldn't be micromanagement sort of stuff going on in agile teams people should be hiring the right set of people um, and motivated individuals who can take ownership communicate regularly to find what is required by the customer and then share ideas within the team to come up with the best possible solution so building a project around motivated individuals is another key principle of agile development another principle says face-to-face -face conversation and collaboration is very important so co-location is another agile principle um, principle of agile manifesto when teams are co-located there is a lot of face-to-face -face conversation and collaboration becomes really really easy collaboration within each team member on a regular basis is easily possible only if the teams are co-located and face-to-face -face conversation makes a lot of things clear and everyone is on the same page 
Another principle says, working software is the primary measure of progress. Now, delivering the working software is the primary measure of progress in agile software development because that's the key thing that the customer is looking for, not the 100 pages of um, design document because that design document is not going to be released in the market and customer or end user not, is not going to benefit anything out of that design document. So the key uh, focus or primary measure of progress is the working software. And in Scrum methodology, uh, the showcase is done at the end of every sprint uh, or uh, the iteration, which is two to four week cycle. And uh, the team delivers a working software after each of these iterations so that working software is very important and primary measure of progress in agile development the next principle says agile processes promote sustainable development and teams should be able to maintain a constant pace so agile so agile development promotes a sustain sustainable development pace and this pace and team deliver working software uh, with this pace in each iteration. So basically, agile teams um, provide uh, the software or basically the, uh, they build incremental software in each iteration and they um, maintain their velocity of the amount of work that will be delivered in each iteration of the agile development. The next principle says, attention to technical excellence and good design enhances agility so as agile software development comprise of motivated individuals they come up with the best skills and right solutions which can accommodate any changes if required this ensures that team can maintain the pace and sustain changes if required now because the, the team is motivated and um, team um, team do a lot of communication come with come up with the best solution so if there are any changes required they can accommodate those changes without impacting the whole um, design the next principle is um, simplicity the art of maximizing the amount of work not done is essential so agile processes also advocate simplicity to any delivery Develop just enough to get the job done in a simple way. Agile team focus on essential things which create value to customer and not um, on distractors or unnecessary uh, lengthy documentation which won't be of much value to the customer or end user. So simplicity is another uh, principle of agile software development. Another principle is self-organizing team produce great products. Agile software development teams should be built by hiring skilled and motivated team members. These team members are self-organizing teams and uh, self-organizing team members who know what they are supposed to do and take ownership. These team members communicate regularly and produce uh, the results that are expected by the stakeholders because there is a close collaboration and everyone in team on is on same page and know the goal they are working towards these these members of the team they self-organize and work towards that common goal to deliver that product or that value to the end user the next principle says retrospectives conducted regularly to analyze how to become more effective now agile teams gather at regular intervals which is after each iteration uh, when they showcase the working product uh, which is two to four weeks cycle they have these retrospective meetings to discuss what worked very well what didn't work very well in those in that last iteration and what they can improve in the upcoming iterations so these are the 12 principles or um, the 12 agile manifesto principles 